there, it's Mary with Mary Stampin' Cafe. Thanks for stopping in and watching my uploaded Stampin' Saturday video. Now, I need to let you know something. When it comes to Stampin' Up's paper pumpkin kits, that you'll know from the little red a paper pumpkin tag here on all of their kits, um, to their Stampin' Up kits. Now these kits are online exclusive products just like some of the other online exclusives that Stampin' Up! is uh, coming out with and they are fabulous. Let me tell you a little bit of something about the kits. When it comes to paper pumpkin kits and Stampin' Up!'s kit collection, I am a purist. Well what does that mean? It means that what I really enjoy about them is I don't have to take the time to design a card in my brain cut my card stocks, pull out my ink pads and all these kinds of things. I do enough of that for my classes and other things like that. Sometimes I just want to sit by the TV and watch my favorite show but have something to do. And the kits and the paper pumpkin kits are perfect for that. I don't have to think too hard. I can look at the final cards. I can take a look at my instruction sheet a little bit and then I can put my cards together. Now don't get me wrong, there is times every once in a while where I will step something up or I will change something, but you know what? Stampin' Up! has the most wonderful creative team that they are just so talented, I feel like I don't need to change much. So I want to talk about Stampin' Up!'s latest kit. It's the Colorful Kaleidoscope Kit. This is an all-exclusive one where you get your uh, stamping spot which is the gray granite and you get this fabulous thanks thank you thank you thank you may your day be filled with uh, um, filled with what filled with something love <laughs> wishing you a magical birthday and I love you so much just because it's great we all need those sentiments right and then we have three beautifully designed cards three each for nine cards and then when you turn over here you're getting some gold embellishments you also get your block your stamping block and I love that because I do classes and workshops and I can use all the blocks I can and what's really great is you can have a little basket with your blocks that you get you get some mini dimensionals and your gold pretty embellishments so we'll set that out and then I just love the intricate die cut laser cut pieces here. They are fabulous. So I'm going to pull those out and pull out my pretty envelopes. The other thing about the kits that I really like and um, the kits collection and paper pumpkin, the envelopes usually always have this beautifully decorated inside of the envelope which is great and then they're also very sturdy they're really thick and I like that a lot they just have a high quality to them so nice I love these colors blushing bride and gray granite and I'm thinking that's Bermuda Bay but I'll find out from the um, flyer and then look at these fabulous deeply colored cardstock bases and all the beautiful design and things that we're going to lay those laser cut layers with. It's so beautiful. So you can see and understand why would I need to spend the time to do alternate products, projects. I mean, I think that's great with paper pumpkin and things to do some alternate things and different things because maybe we get a little bored, you know, with doing them all the same. And that's fantastic. But again, for me, the idea is that I don't have to think much about it. I... Um, I'm very, very busy. Oh, and we get our foam adhesive strips. That's fabulous. They act like dimensionals, but they're strips. And some great, beautiful tags here. And uh, oftentimes, you know, we find in our uh, paper pumpkins or some of our kits that the tags are always white. So it's beautiful that we've got some different colored ones there. And then we have our mini glue dots. So let's take a look at this kits collection and another thing I really like about the kits collection it's very similar in its layout to excuse me layouts to paper pumpkin right 
It has the same type of instructions. You get to see exactly the beginning to the end of your card and what you're using for each. And I really like that, how it's laid out there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my supplies here. All right, so I have the beautiful blue, the fabulous Calypso Coral, I think. Oh, I was going to look at the, it does tell you on your kit, contains uh, coordinating Stampin' Up! colors. Yep, Bermuda Blake, oh, Calypso Coral, yes. Gold, gray granite, Knight of Navy, and Petal Pink. Oh, it was Petal Pink. I was saying Blushing Bride. <gasps> I have been cor stand corrected. All right, so just look at my front here for each part and piece that I need. And these envelopes. Stampin' Up! makes it so very easy to know where things go. And these pretty, oh, so pretty. That's going to go with that. This one is going to go with our one that has the angle right here, so you know. And then, of course, our Bermuda Bay. And then these go here. And although you're only making three cards, Stampin' Up! does a great thing. You always get the extra in case you mess up your Stampin' because, you know, do we ever do that? We don't mess up our stamping, right? We never mess up our stamping. Huh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Especially with our long little banners, it's so easy to uh, do things crooked. But this actually is just going to be a little layer, so that's nice. And then the white ones also go with my gray over. And see, I've got that extra there for that, too, in case I have a little accident and stamping. And then this is going to go here. This is going to go here. That's going to go there. And I have an extra one. And then I'm looking for this. Let's take a look at the instructions. I'm not quite sure where the gold strips go. So let's see. Ah, It does have the gold strip going with the middle one here. So I just don't see it in the final project. Let me look for that card. Let me look for that card. Here it is. Oh, there it is. It's sneaking just behind the sentiment. Okay. All right. Don't see it in that cover picture, but I can see it on the instruction one. So that's great. You get your cards, get to see them two different ways. I love that I get that extra one if I miss my stamping. All right, so let's set these aside. Let me take one of each here. Hey, if you've got this kit, take it out. Stamp along. All right, there's one. There's two. What pretty envelopes, my goodness. And three. I also like that this stamp set has a little bit of a variety in the sentiments. It has the birthday, it has thank you. Oh, there we go. Very nice, all right. take these two and set them aside. I'm going to work on the Knight of Navy and Bermuda Bay. I also really like about the kits collection and Paper Pumpkin. Stampin' Up! does a great job, their artists, putting colors together that I wouldn't necessarily think about. So, <sighs> excuse me so much. I'm having some allergies. <laughs> when I... Um, when I'm thinking about color combinations for, for projects, for classes and events, sometimes I'll go back to my paper pumpkin or my kits collection and see what color combinations they used. And then it helps me with mine. 
All right, so let's take a look at this card right here. And let's do it. So we need the thank you, thank you, thank you stamp. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And gray granite is our spot. That is one thing that I will do, even though I am a purist and will generally just do these kits as they are for just some stamping that I don't have to think too much about. I do like to bring out my full size stamp pads. I will use my spots sometimes for techniques that I need, or I will use them in a little package with a stamp as a gift. There we go. So we'll stamp our thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm noticing how they have it on this here. They have the points of the hexagon up and down. So I'm going to do the same. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I've done that. The next thing it wants me to do is it wants me to put glue dots. Now I know that they're the glue dots. because right here I have little tiny hexagons. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab out my, oh, my glue dots are right here. And now this, you don't want to run, of course, your glue, liquid glue, or your sna um, stamp, uh, <coughs> stamp and seal. It really will not work very well. You'll get glue everywhere. So we're just gonna be putting them in particular little, little little places where you have a nice place and the glue dot won't show anywhere and there we go don't need too much because we're just using these as a buffer because we're going to be pulling our foam adhesive strips because this is going to be raised up. And the reason why we're putting these little things here is because when it's the it's all on there, it might sag a little bit in the center. I'm noticing I've got a couple little die cuts here that are still in place that I need to get out. There we go. There we are. Okay. Now let me set that there. I'm going to grab my foam adhesive sheets. I love my foam adhesive strips. Absolutely love them. These are tiny enough. That's good to know that they include these because the foam strips that you get when you order that item number I don't think they're this skinny. <laughs> so it's not going to go the whole length, and that's okay. You don't need it to. There's one. Here's another. They're made perfect for that width of this layer here, that border. Now going across the top, it's going to go across more of it. And one more. Could you imagine trying to put tiny little dimensional pieces all along here to raise it up? Of course not. <laughs> That's where these foam adhesive strips come in handy. Now I will take my foam adhesive strips and if I need smaller ones that I'm just creating my own projects, I will um, just cut them down right down the middle. All right, look at this beautiful design. The color combinations are so nice. Remember this now, Petal Pink, Bermuda Bay, and Night of Navy. Oh, I can't wait to use this color. I'm preparing to do a little Stampin' Coffee and Cards in a little town called Port Orchard where I, oh, you want to make sure you're getting it right over top the design. And I want to move that little foam strip because he's sticking out a little bit. Oh, looky there. All right, beautiful. 
right over that top. I'm going to think about try to get that right over the middle of that circle. Okay, so then I'm going to take and put dimensionals on the back of my, and I'm going to use mini dimensionals. They gave mini dimensionals in the kit, but I happen to have these mini dimensionals out from a paper pumpkin kit I did. And now I'm just putting a whole bunch. The instructions show two, but I'm again, I like to have things popped out evenly all the way around. I don't like things that get in the way. You know, I see that. I think I was probably supposed to use the mini dimensionals in the center on here, not the glue dots, because I don't want those getting stuck like that. So this is going to come here, just like so. Yeah, I think so. So use dimensionals on all of it. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring in my gold dot. Now, now the kit has the oh gold dots going all around the center. I like that. And they have them going at the top or down here in the center. Hmm. Yep. You need to get off there, dude. Sometimes my take your pick tool likes to flip them upside down on me. Now I'm not. Uh, I don't really want to do them on everyone, but again, I am a purist. I don't want to think about it too much, right? But it can't come over to the next one, so I'm going to have three there. And then I'm going to come over and have another one down here. Whoops, that's not in the center. Let's get that in the center. Oh, that one doesn't have a glue dot with it. Oh, I left the glue dot there. That's why. Ooh, that happens too sometimes. I want to see if I need to have one up at the top here. This one just grabbed the other glue dot. Interesting. Do I want one right here? Is that just too much? That would go along with the circle, wouldn't it? But, nope, I don't want it. Let's put it back. Easy peasy, just like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is beautiful. Now. Let's see what else the stamp set has. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, I can't thank you enough. Just because, okay, we'll leave it as that. Beautiful, huh? There's no reason for me to think about, oh, how might I change this? Uh, no, I like to just do it. I don't want to think too much, and I, that's the way it goes. So there's one. Let's bring in our next one. Let's take a look here. It is the gray granite with the petal pink. And we got the Bermuda Bay and Knight of Navy in there again. So think about those color combinations just in a different way. Very little Knight of Navy. Um, gray granite as your base. And lovely. Okay, so this card is going this way. Let's see what our instructions tell us. And let's be more careful about our aha. There is our symbol. For the mini glue dot, that is the symbol for the dimensionals. Yes. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> let's pull in. Or did I just lose myself here? I did. Okay. We are going to start with this right here. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to bring in my foam strips again. And this is going to lay like that. Oop. Oop, you're twisted around. That's not good. Well, there's a couple of them twisted around like that. I'll have to fix those. And what I'm going to do is take my foam strips along here. I want to add more foam, foam strips along the top here because we don't want just that top to be dimensioned. We want all of this to be dimensioned up. And then I'll also need one down at the bottom. I don't want to put any at the sides. These are too thick for these tiny little sides. But I don't know if you see that, that this one is twisted around. 
I need to fix that. There we go. A couple of them got, got pulled a little bit. All right, so then that's done. I want to bring in the two pieces, that and the sentiment piece. What sentiment am I using for this one? I am using the just because. I like that just because. It's a good one. Let me grab another block. I like to lay my stamp out straight on my mat and then pick it up with my block. Just because is going to go on the white. That's not going to have anything. And my gray granite ink. I'm going to set my gold things aside. Now I haven't used this before so I'm going to stamp it a couple times as you can see. It needs that. That's there straight. Make it over top. Sorry if you're getting me. Just because I'm going to flip it over. I'm a little too close to the top, I feel. And remember, I have that extra one. So that's so exciting if I need it. I'm going to look just from underneath and go that way and see how I did there. There we are, just because. You're special to me. Now these are going to have dimensionals on the back. So I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals again. Maybe. <laughs> yep, there they are. That's going to get the dimensionals on the back. Oh, which side? Which side? This side. Oh, I almost put the dimensionals on the side that I stamped well. That's why I say it's nice that there's two sides of the paper, right? <laughs> you can stamp. Oh, all right, so we've got that ready to go. These need a couple little glue dots. I like to use the pointy part of my take your pick tool for this because it gets that little mini glue dot right up. So I'm going to take the tops off these. Sometimes they don't like to come off, but that's okay. We can take an extra little minute. Do that, right? There we go. All right, so the first thing that's going to happen now, we are ready to assemble this one. I'm going to bring this in, take my foam strip tops off. You're going to get curly little paper strips all over. They're fun. They're curly. So look how curly those are. That's fun. The cat likes them too. <laughs> all right. So now this is going to go over right over top that layer. It is the same measurement. as the petal pink. There we go. And that is so pretty to have it raised up. You can see the depth there. It is so cool. I love it. So now we're going to go ahead and take the blue. It's going to come right here just like so. And then my just because I already pulled off just accenting by putting a little color underneath it is fantastic. Oh, I see on here my just because wasn't supposed to have dimensional. So now I've got dimension on dimension on dimension. I love it though. I think it's great. Now I need three of my golden embellishments. And that is going to go one on each center of this starburst. Love it. How pretty is that? Because you're special to me. I love that. And the dimension on this one is so good. Lovely. Okay, card two. See what I mean? Just sit back, enjoy. Don't stress out about having to design and cut out supplies. I love it.
Now this one I think is, I don't know, Calypso Coral, this color is so beautiful. And you see that beautiful work in its white going over this. Just look how beautiful that is. Oh, that is awesome. <coughs> so same thing on this end. I'm going to use my mini dimensional right in the center of this. Then we're going to use our foam strips. See, once you've done one of the cards, you kind of get, oh, okay, I see what's happening here. They are all layered anyway, pretty much the same, right, with that dimension. Which dimension just adds so much to the eye. That perspective is so important. Let's go ahead and take these off because I know this is just going to go right on my layer. So see how easily I can sit, I can watch my show, just have my mat in a little bit, have the box with the supplies right in it. They're contained. I don't have to have baskets of things. Did I get them all off? I sure did. Now this little dimensional top. There we go. Let's bring that card base back in. And again, this is the same uh, size as the design on the card front. So try to get that layered up evenly, which I did. Look at how stunning that is. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. All that color, rich color coming up through. All right. And so now we're going to be doing the birthday sentiment on here. Let me bring that together. It says, wishing you a magical birthday. We all need magical birthdays, right? It's about us. It's our special day. It's our special time. I'm not one to get stuff like birthday parties or things like that about with me, but I love to create them and celebrate other people. My husband's birthday's coming up and it's always thinking about what am I what are we doing for my husband's birthday? What am I doing for my husband's birthday? I think he appreciates that. So I like putting it together. I just don't like being the recipient. There we go. Oh, poo poo. <laughs> and that's white on the other side. So you know what I need? I need to come get that extra one. Yay! Stampin' Up gave me an extra one, which is so nice. I just have to stamp this a couple more times because it's just not quite. There we are. Okay. Now, when I do this, I just need to make sure I'm holding down and I give it a minute to soak into this colored cardstock. There we are. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So now we know what comes next, right? Mini glue dots on both. Mini glue dots on both. Let's remember that. We raised up the layer with the foam strips, so I do not need to raise up the sentiment too. That just gets too much thickness. And if I want to mail it, it starts to become a little problem. I don't mind a little extra postage, you know. If it's going to protect the card, because it'll be too thick, it won't be able to go through their machines, right? Okay. Last bit. Whoop. Get these off. Sometimes they take a little time. They're on there really good. Get up under them. I have a love-hate relationship with the mini glue dots this way. <laughs> I think we probably all do. But actually, it works out pretty good. It really doesn't take that much more time, I don't think. All right. So of course, we know what's going to happen on this one. We have an angled sentiment here. This is going to come down just like that, centered. And then this is going to come right over top. There we go. Now, again, I don't tend to do much in the way of 
alternate videos or alternate projects with my paper pumpkin kits or my kits collection things. I like to just kind of stamp and create without thinking much about it. It's my time for just a little relaxation because I do a lot of creating other times. So this also, remember I said, it also gives you ideas of color combinations that go really well together. I oftentimes will go back to that. Um, tell me what you think of this kit and these cards. I think it's just fabulous. Leave me a comment below. And remember, you have one more week um, with the host code, ooh, down there, to get in on Double Cafe Coins Rewards and Mystery Hostess Chance. That is fabulous. So make sure you go check that out with the link. Um, I have the description below. I have the shopping link to get in on that. For every $25, you're in for Mystery Hostess and Double Cafe Coins. So that ends on March 31st. So check out my events. Check out my online store. Get yourself this kit. It is a good one. I love the colored cardstock bases and just the beautiful color combinations. Um, gets me thinking about my own color combinations. So until next time, guys, happy stamping.